Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Dungeon Warfare 2. This is a game that you can find on Steam for about 15 bucks. It's important to stress that I just got my press key, so this is going to be a first impressions video. With that being said, I have played the first one as evidenced by the video that I just released yesterday. And I gotta say, I'm really looking forward to this one. I really enjoyed the first one. For those of you that haven't seen anything on Dungeon Warfare 1, it's sort of like a top-down tower defense slash orcs must die kind of vibe. Uh, let's just jump into this and we'll learn more about it as we go. Tap the icon to start. Okay, so the map system, it looks like, is a little different compared to the first one. Uh, you've got your XP bar on the bottom, that's what I'm assuming anyway, you had that in the first one as well. And as you leveled up in the first one, you got these red gems that you could then level up your traps and the like. Uh, bottom right hand corner there's upgrades, there's map list, and then there's menu. Under menu we'll tackle the options first, music and sound effects. I have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. Ambient sound, weather effects, bloom filter, dynamic liquid, camera shake, pause on barricade destruction, use edge scrolling, input languages, and display. Display, you've got screen resolution, full screen, and V-Sync. Alright, so pretty standard stuff. Statistics, achievements, encyclopedia, downloaded maps, my map. So it does look like you can actually download maps that other people have created and play them for yourself, which is kind of cool. How that ties in with your XP, I don't know. I don't know if you can like abuse the system, download a bunch of maps, and then just level up your profile that way. I don't know. That's one thing that maybe we'll discover later on. There is a help menu. There's pro tips, credits, and encyclopedia there. Uh, Facebook. Let's take a look at the upgrades real quick. Actually, upgrades are not working at the moment. I'm guessing I have to get further in before I can do that. Map list also not working. I'm guessing this might be the map list. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the first level. Same splash animation. Welcome to Dungeon Warfare 2. This is your portal, defend it. The enemies will enter your dungeon from here. This is your life counter. Open the loadout menu. Okay, so very, 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 very similar to the first one. All right, we're good. Dart trap here, I shall do that. Build a spike trap here. Okay, uh, I'm going to go one up and put this, now what is this thing? Demon Lord. Okay, um, I don't know if he's on my side or not, oh yeah, friendly, interesting. Let's do this. I'm going to fast forward a bit here. Same wave system. Although, it's a little different. If you look on the left hand side, it says 567. That was in the previous one too, but you had a little play button if you wanted to skip to the next wave. Here, it, it looks like you could just click on the number and automatically skip to the next wave. Alright, getting there. I think we got it. Okay, so just in looking at this screen, again, very similar. It looks like there's a spot for three right... Yep, there we go. Flawless victory. Loot. Uncommon oil. Oh, interesting. So there's actually loot to be had in this now. Ah, trap slot, gem bonus, gold bonus. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these upgrades. 
Objective reward. Five gems, trap mastery. Choose one reward. Oh, neat. So we can actually choose. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, I, I like my spike traps. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, so look at this. By completing these little side quests, like prevent one or more door from destruction, we actually gain a reward for that. Um, uh, skill point, gems. You know what? Again, I like my, my spike traps. All right, let's take a look at these upgrades. Trap Mastery. You can spend gems on traps to increase its power. Gems are earned by leveling up or clearing stages with gem reward. You may reset the allocated gems at any time. Endgame trap upgrades are unlocked at Mastery level 5, 10, 15. Okay, so, yeah, these are all of the traps, all the question marks that, you know, those are the ones we have yet to um, uncover. Skill tree. You gained one skill point per each level up. Use the skill points to learn or upgrade a skill. Now that's new. There are three skill trees in this game. Each tree encourages a unique play style. Assigned skill points can be reset at any time. I like that. I love the fact that you can reset the skill tree and that there's three different ones. There's Brute, there's Elite, and there's Greed. Let's take a look at this. Alright, under Linkage. Adjacent traps of the same type increases rearm speed. Okay. Portal Guardian. Uh, Guardian Spirits flies around the portal, periodically zapping nearby enemies for 2.2 damage. Uh, this one is Upkeep. Reduces the price penalty on building multiple traps of the same type by 10%. Yeah, that was something that was in the previous game as well. As you, Let's say you built one or two dart traps. Okay, no problem, same price. But when you get to a certain point, uh, you have to pay more for that trap to keep building it. So you just can't keep spamming the same trap over and over and over again. This reduces the penalty on that. Deconstruction decreases the trap refund penalty by 10%. Forging uh, increases rearm speed of consumables. Preparation allows you to deploy two additional consumable traps before the first wave starts. And as you can see, there's a bunch more. Let's take a look at Elite. Singularity, if a trap has no other traps of the same type on the map, its rearm speed is increased by 30%. Loophole, teleports a unit entering the portal back to the entrance of the dungeon, has a 60 second cooldown. That could be useful on any runes that we might pick. Difficulty runes where we only have one life. That would be cool. Trait Mastery. Decreases cost of trap traits by 10%. Uh, kill Chain. Each different source of the damage done by your traps in combination deals 5% additional damage. So it seems like this Elite Tree favors different type traps. Like, instead of spamming one type of trap, it, it favors a bunch of different traps on uh, the map. Rune Mastery. Increases Rune Experience Multiplier. Uh, cutting Edge. Increases damage of your traps by 6%. Ballistics increases activation range of projectile traps. Um, if we move on to Greed, I'm guessing this is going to be for money. You gain 4% more experience from all sources, increasing starting gold by 300. Uh, unspent gold at the end of the battle awards 1% more experience per 1,000 gold. This bonus is capped at 50%. So this is a great way to level up. Horde, as long as you have 2,000 unspent gold, traps have 10% increased rearm speed. See, everything's focused on money and experience in this one. That's interesting. I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do at this point, honestly. Um, I've got two skill points. Um, adjacent traps of the same type. Well, that's like if I do multiple spike traps in a row, for example. Um, uh, decreases cost of trap traits by 10%. Oh, man, this is tough. You know, let's go with the standard wealth and and it looks like can you Oh, you can level up these things too. So I could just throw everything into wealth. Um I'm going to go ahead and gain more experience as well. So basically a flat money and experience boost there. All right. Uh again, map list. Okay, so here's the map list. Ascending sort by name. All right, let's go ahead and move on to another one. Uh, we'll try Glacial Cliff. Clear the stage. Prevent one or more doors from destruction. Clear the stage within five minutes. And again, it looks like we get bonuses for completing all of those. Eleven total waves with this one. Special objects. There are special objects scattered in dungeons. Some of them are friendly, while others are hostile. These objects can be destroyed. Your traps and enemies will attack hostile objects if they can. Mouse over the object to find out more about them. Now that's something new as well. This is like dungeon 
this is like this is like a a one point five slash two point oh version of the original game. I mean, it, it it takes a lot of inspiration from the original game and then just adds an extra layer to it. it it's so far, I'm really I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. So if we did say a dart trap here, that should treasure tra generates gold for you. Okay, and there's a little slime trap there. We might want to consider that. And... Well, here's the thing. It looks like they're coming here down this way. Now, the question is... Are they going to go any other ways? Well, I we'll guess we'll find out. We've got some extra gold. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward time. Oh, so this generates... Okay. This is generating gold for me automatically. So I don't have to actually do anything to take care of that. So, let's just... Get rid of that. We'll sell it. Makes sense, right? Those push traps are awesome. Alright. We need to protect this door. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab... That there. Item drop tome. Mm. All right. Incoming from different angles here. Oh, that hurt. Come in a different way. Let's throw these down. Uh, we may not. We may not stop this. No. Poor door. All right. We might have to. Might have to do something about that next time. Oh, they're going this way. That's weird. Oh, hit the guy. Alright, sell. I'm gonna sell some of these. Hmm, they might actually break through that door. Alright, so we took a few hits there. Still got the victory though. I don't. Th yeah, see, I don't like that. We didn't complete that prevent one or more door from destruction. I'd, I'd like to replay that, but it looks like we got some loot. Tome, rare oils, uncommon oils. I gotta wonder what those things do. Endless mode is unlocked at level 20. Okay. Gem bonus. Okay, um. Now, what's cool is, I mean, we're gaining these rewards as we play. So even though one level, we didn't complete it, we can always level up a bit, come back, and then be the completionist and, and get all those side quests done. Um, do I want a gem bonus? Do I want trap mastery? You know, I'm going to go ahead and do this. This, Yeah, I kind of like that. 
And what is this? Blood base. Uh, creates a new ethereal map on your grid. Ah. Do I want to do that? Or do we want to continue? I mean, I, I don't mind replaying those. You know, let's go ahead and uh, get a skill point. All right. And now that we've got more skill points, we've got 10 of these gems. So I'm thinking, let's go ahead and up this a bit. Increase our damage. Trap upgrade. You have achieved trap mastery level 5. You can upgrade the trap by right-clicking the trap, then pressing the upgrade button. Again, very similar to the first one. All right, so we're out of gems there. And if I remember correctly, the the higher we upgrade a trap, the more gems it costs us. Now, we can also unlock traps. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this push trap, I'd like to unlock that as well. So actually, let's go ahead and do this. We've got two left. Um, upgrade that push trap and that one. Okay. And then mastery and skills. Okay, so we've got two of these skills. Again, let's. If I do this wealth here, um, I start with 400 gold instead of 300 gold, which would be nice. And I can gain more experience for monsters if I throw points here. I need at least three skill points on uh, this previous one in order to unlock Boon of the Rusher. Now, again, I can probably come back here and do things. I mean, I was using a lot of spike traps, so maybe I might want to consider linkage. Adjacent traps of the same type increases rearm speed. Uh, that portal guardian might have come in handy. Summons two guardians. Uh, you know what? Let's let's see what that looks like. Again, we can always reset if we want to, right? All right. I love that. I love the fact that we can reset. And now that we've... Uh, let's go ahead and look at a different level. Clear the stage. Clear the stage without using dart trap. So no dart trap. We'll grab that. And that. Moving walls. Hmm. All right, then. So they're coming this way. Um, I'd love to... Thinking in my head how I'm going to do this. The push traps... Oh, but the push trap would work here. Into the water. Uh, yeah. This one there into the water. And then this one here. Bison cave. So, it's a train from the first one. The little mine cart. <laughs> That's awesome. Not bad. 
Not bad. I also like the different enemy types, too. I mean, you'll notice that one guy was swinging that little hook around and then latching onto the part of the wall and, and boosting himself forward. I don't think I've ever seen that in the prior game. All right, so we leveled up, got gem, uh, gem bonus, trap slot, gold bonus, runes. Uh, runes are ways to make the game easier or harder. At least that's what the previous game had. Um, increased rarity. Uh, I don't like that one percentage chance. Uh, increases starting gold multiplier by 1%. I'll, I'd rather take the skill point. And this one, Breeze. Start with 100 additional life. So that's a unique rune that we could take to make everything easier for us. Or I can, you know, I'll, I'll take that. As as a casual gamer, I don't mind. I don't mind that. But the runes in the previous game came unlocked automatically. Here, it's like they're up, they're releasing those via the... Uh, the bonuses. Do I want the harpoon trap? Yes. Um, this is, yeah, there we go. So that's that. I'm using that the most. Now we can also put points into this to gain uh, more starting gold. Items. This is something new. Adventurers drop all kinds of valuable items. You can equip these items in your inventory by moving them to the equipment slot in the left. Equipments have various benef uh, beneficial effects. The rarer the item, the more powerful. So, yeah, we want unique. Uh, Right-click to identify. So this is sort of like a Diablo-esque kind of system here. Um, really nice. All right, so it's uh, beginner's luck. 5% plus 5 to starting life. 7% increased rarity of items found. Now, what is this? Oh, this is a transmute tab? What is that all about? Oh, there's an identify all down here. So... Yeah, you can equip these items in your inventory by moving them to the equipment slot in the left. So is it this is this looks like a transmutate tab. Oh no, okay, so this is the transmutate tab. This is this is this is your inventory, and this is the transmute area. Okay, I was a little confused by that. Alright, so we can throw these here, right? To gain bonuses. Plus one bounty of peasant. Traps deal 8% increased damage against jungle warriors. Plus one bounty warrior. Traps deal 10% increased damage against priest and jungle and uh -huh. tome, spike trap, decreased cost, infernal bane, and oil. And I'm guessing we can throw items in here, mix them together, transmutes the items in socket, converting them into a new item. Three items of the same rarity is a new item of the same rarity, or nine items of the same rarity is a new item of improved rarity and tier. So if you have like nine crappy stuff, you can uh, put them in there, transmute, and they'll have one extra level of rarity, which is kind of cool. I like that. All right, so part of me wants to go back now to this glacial cliff and and get three... I mean, that's just me. I, I kind of want to go back and do this. Now, I can play the breeze. Um, huh. It says 1.05. That's weird. So there's no reason why I shouldn't use breeze then. And you can also transmutate, uh, transmute sockets or uh, runes too. That's interesting. Interesting, because there's a transmute button here too. No, I don't want to do that. So transmutes the runes in a. Okay, so this is what's active, I guess. And then over here is just the transmute. I would really like the transmute menus are confusing me a little bit. Empties the rune socket, destroying all locked runes permanently. Locked runes can be removed either by clearing the map or purging the socket. So is this... is This is my inventory, I'm guessing, and this is... Okay, so no. In order for it to be affected, I have to put it here. Okay. So we'll do that. Alright, let's go and play this level again. This time we're gonna, we're gonna win. Alright, we're gonna do the... We got the spike trap, we got the barricade. Take the dart trap. The harpoon, no room for. I forget what the map looks like. Uh, okay, let's just do that. Okay, the push trap will actually work nicely. But what I'd like to do is funnel them all in the same direction. So I'm gonna sell that. Well, I, it sells for zero, so there's no point. I'm gonna throw this here so that they all funnel through this area here. And now we'll... 
We'll have at it. Um, do that. Do that. And go. Notice the guardians over here. Spinning around. There. Are so good. <laughs> Definitely better than last time. All right, flawless victory. We completed that one objective that we didn't complete before. <laughs> Three, uh, three gems. Got some more loot. A lot of uncommon runes, this jewel. Alright, for completing that one, uh, objective that we didn't complete last time, um, Grave Shrine, Tier 7 Ethereal Map. Map contains a vault. Map is fortified with many doors. Or, again, I'm tempted just to keep up with the the skill points and the gems, but uh, let's do skill points. And we've got one to spend, big deal. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the extra gold. And then under skills, we've got three points. Um, now let's go ahead and increase our starting gold and then need one more skill point in this tree. Increases the wave rush gold bonus by 20%. So if we're in a rush, we can activate that, get more bonus out of it. Um, or we can just take more experience from all sources. Sure. And again, we can always reset that and come back. All right, folks. So I think this is going to be a good stopping point for this first video. I got to say, I am extremely impressed with this. I'm very excited to play more. Um, again, it's sort of like the first game, only it's, uh, you know, times two. It's magnified. It's better. Uh, I like the addition of the skill trees. Yes, we had these here before, the trap upgrades with the gems and all that, but this skills is new. Uh, these items are new. 9% increased minion health, for example, or uh, freezing trap, 7% increased rearm speed. So yeah, uh, and this transmute button that allows you to get rid of stuff that you don't want and possibly turn them into things that you do want. So like I said, previous game... Just a simply, uh, simply an upgraded version of it. And I couldn't be happier. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.